This is Diego Butsky. I'm the product manager for excavators with Case in North America, Case Construction. And here we are at Utility Expo, debuting our WX175 ESR and the WX155 ESR, our new wheeled excavators that we are reintroducing to the North American market. These machines are quite popular in Europe and we want to make them as popular here in the States uh, moving forward. So these machines that we have here, we have the WX155 ESR, right around a 16 metric ton size machine. Obviously it does have the wheels so it can drive up to 25 miles per hour. That's one of the things that add a lot of versatility these machines are fitted standard with all the hydraulics that you need. Here is an example. You can actually put a tilt rotator on these machines that are also offered through case construction. The tilt rotator is one of those, what we call a sandwich type. We have a quick coupler, we have the tilt rotator, and then the tilt rotator obviously has another quick coupler on it to engage all the attachments. In case you're not using the tilt rotator for the rotation or the tilting functionality, you can always drop it off and just use the quick coupler on the machine to engage a digging bucket or any other attachment that you need to use to get the job done. But obviously tilt rotators, that's where it's at. We believe these machines, they pair really well with them and the variety of attachments they offer. This machine runs on a Cummings 4.5 liter engine. Great, great powertrain as far as power and torque to provide everything it needs for the hydraulics. The lower frame has ZF components as far as transmission and axles. So it, it is a great unit, top to bottom. Inside the cab, lots of comfort, a lot of uh, space for the operator. All the switches are nice and easy to touch and, and, and everything provides a really good feel. We have uh, swift controls in there that you can utilize to get the job done really fast. We have air suspension, heated seats. The seat itself has lots of adjustments from lumbar to height to everything. There is no way somebody with short arms or long arms or short legs or long legs will feel uncomfortable in there because the machine offers it all. The telescoping steering column, you know, it is telescoping, it goes up and down, but it also articulates in two points, so you can get that steering wheel very close to you. One thing that is inside the cab is a switch called auto brake. That feature provides an incredible confidence to the operators because they pretty much get the job done, get moving to the next point, and then as they, they slow down the machine and stop, the machine breaks the wheel so they can get the swing going, the front equipment going, the attachment going, and the machine is parked. And as soon as they hit the gas, it, it deactivates the brakes and they can get going again. So it adds confidence, uh, adds safety as well. And, and that's one of the features that I believe uh, is also really great on these machines. The added safety with the 360 degree camera with object detection, that adds on safety. So whether you're moving down the road or you're just static digging or doing whatever with the machine, you know exactly what's going on the surroundings at all times. And the machine will actually tell you if someone approaches the machine, you can actually see that on the monitor because it highlights for you. So many more things on this machine, like the two-piece boom that will allow you to work very close to the machine. So these machines, you can configure the lower frame the way you want. We provide a blade, a rear blade as a standard with all of them. The rear blade has a tow hitch functionality, so you can tow a trailer. You have your electrical connector and a trailer dump line as well. And in the front, you can go without stabilizers. And especially on smaller machines like the WX140 or the 155 here, you may want to do that because it reduces the work footprint on the machine. But but also on slightly larger machines, you may add stabilizers to the front or even to the rear of the machine to provide that extra stability. Stabilizers, when they are up, they remain within with the width of the machine, but when you deploy them, they go outside sideways and they provide that extra stability. I would personally always recommend front stabilizers and a rear blade because you have the best of both worlds, but obviously a machine just with the rear blade, it's enough stability to get the job done. So the 155 will be for those guys that are doing more material handling than anything. If they're doing 
grading, if they're doing just light digging with trenching and digging with the machine, that's fine. But material handling, that's where it's at. You will see these machines perform really well in fine applications because they're small, they're nimble, they can get in and out anywhere, and they can get the job done with the power and the hydraulics that they have. When you see larger machines, that's where you see more of the rough grading, not so much the fine grading, but the rough grading, or you see more lifting, heavy loads further out from the machine. So those larger machines will go more for those types of applications whether the smaller ones will remain more with material handling. For the latest in construction equipment, sign up for our daily newsletter. Just click the link below.